you figured your sweepers had done enough work, uh, don't tax them on that last shot? Yeah, uh, they worked hard all week, uh, absolutely. It was nice to have uh, have that shot to win the game, hit, hit the forefoot, it's always nice. Uh, so I think that uh, I, this this raises our spirits a little bit, coming coming back out here and and playing well and, and winning a bronze medal is uh, something that I think we'll be we'll be proud of. And and like I said, it, it feels good. We were really uh, feeling the pain of those two losses uh, last night. Uh, so this lifts our spirits. It does say something about the team that uh, the bounce back effect and whatnot, and being able to raise your game when you need to raise your game. And performance on demand is a key element for any athlete, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I, it's. It's just nice to to go out there and uh, and put a good performance together that we can be proud of as um, our la with our last game at the Briar. Uh, so for that, I'm I'm happy. Is it hard to get up for a bronze medal game? Right? It was pretty tough. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty tough. Um, I think that that game is not a game that uh, any curlers really are ex are excited to play. Maybe unless. Uh, you're coming out. You, maybe if you lost the three-four game, uh, you might be a little bit more excited to play that game. Uh, however, we we did that. We we went out. We we played as hard as we could for the fans. I'm, I'm sure the fans and everyone back home enjoyed that game. So, um, really, just uh, happy to go out there and entertain. That draw in the first end where I came up light, um, they pounded it all the way. That didn't really. We didn't start off very well. Uh, I think we were all pretty angry at that point, to be honest with you. But knowing that uh, there's a long way to go, and we were able to bounce back with the deuce and then force them to make some pretty tough shots, uh, we were able to gain control of the game after that. And, and like I said, we played really well. I, I think we, I think we almost made all of our shots from that point on. So it was great. Well, uh, what was your coaching secret to get these guys pumped up for today? I don't think it was necessarily. Uh, I don't think it was any secret, to be honest. Some. Uh, Obviously, last night was tough, and the guys were down. But it's pretty easy to get back up and play in front of a crowd like we had tonight or this afternoon. Uh, obviously, TV numbers are big. The guys have a lot of pride in themselves. They want to go out there. They they want to win the last game of the event. They don't want to lose the last three in a row. Get that last win. Come come home with a medal. You know what? It's always good to end an event. End an event with a win. It's about. I mean, it's a, it was a professional attitude, a professional display, right? Oh yeah, pure business all week. Um, uh, you know, you just want to lay it out on the line. You know, obviously today they're having more fun out there than they normally would, but uh, I think that loose attitude really helped them out to get through this game. You got uh, another season to kind of keep this team on track for 2017. What, what, what was the takeaway from this event, and and what are the priorities going forward? Takeaway from this event is that we had a fantastic week. Um, uh, uh, through the round robin, we were the class of the field. And you know what? We lost on a last shot and extra end against Brad. And we lost on a beautiful pick shot by Cooey in the, in the semifinal game. Um, and again, like, a little bit of a measurement on that last one. And like, that's how close it is. These guys are so good. All these teams are so fantastic. And that's literally the difference in what it takes. Um, uh, we we could have been in the one, we could have been in that final tonight, but just wasn't meant to be this year. But they played a great week. They really did. And good things to come. Very good things to come. No, I, I'm very excited to see what's going to uh, happen next year. Um, uh, the guys needed a week like this. Um, uh, I, I guess you can say that they had a bit of a tough year, but they came out this week proving that they are one of the best in the world, and, and, and they showed that all throughout. Well, we started, you know, obviously got a really good break to start, but uh, kind of always one shot away from putting together a good end throughout the middle. And... Uh, you know, and then we were in a situation where we had to claw back. Um, so it was kind of out of our hands, you know. It was just, uh, yeah, we could put together eight shots in an end during the middle half of that game. So um, that's, you know, it's, uh, it's tough to win that way. Yeah, there was, well, I mean, there was a couple situations where the difficulty of the shot was very high. Um, and, you know, we were off by... You know, the margin of error was, you know, very, very small uh, from us converting, you know, a deuce in a few of those situations instead of a steal. And that would have turned the game in our favor uh, versus, you know, just fighting to get to a point where you have to make them draw against the win. Um, so that's it. Yeah, there's a couple opportunities that uh, we just didn't convert on. Is this team where it needs to be before as you look towards 2017 here in Ottawa? Well, I think this, this is part of our plan. Um, you know, so 
for us to play as well as we did all week. You know, we didn't have our our best ever, but we were good. Um, we needed this experience, so this was uh, really good for us going forward in the next next couple of seasons. It's a 10 end game. It's a lot of TV breaks and uh, piping out, and you know the whole production of it. So you're on your feet for four hours a game, and sometimes a very small break, and you're back out there again. And uh, it, it takes a toll on the body. Um, so the, the, it, it was a bit. Uh, it, it was something we hadn't experienced before. Um, that long drawn out over uh, you know over 10 days. We've done that you know in periods of six or seven days, but. Not, not quite this, this long. You know, it'll be interesting to see what the conditions are. Um, we kept that building nice and warm f as long as we could. <laughs> so I'm not, not sure that's a good thing. Um, you know, I, I really think it'll come down to who, who kind of st starts well in the first three or four ends. Uh, you know, I, I think Hammer's a big advantage. So if Brad can start well, He'll be in the driver's seat, but uh, you know if uh, if Cooey comes out making everything early, um, yeah, I think it's going to go right down to the wire. I'll probably be somewhere else watching. I you know this is eye-opening how little time we have with our friends and family, and I think uh, we'll get reacquainted with the patch and and with uh, some vino and and uh, and some good food, and and we'll we'll take it in from from that aspect.